I've learned so much and I just I love him. Like the whole family is obsessed with Netflix. Hola amigas and welcome to today's mukbang. <laughs> Guys, we have some issues on set. We're going to try the Hawaiian host uh, macadamia chocolate. It's dark chocolate. I've tried the one with milk chocolate in the Philippines and it was to die for. Like I almost mm. died. So put yummy. So, Macadamia. we're going to try this and when I ate this in the Philippines, it was so yummy because it was melting because it was so hot. Michael said, oh, Michael knows this. Oh. Mm. You like it? Mm. But the milk is way better. I usually hate dark chocolate, guys, but this is good. It's very rare that I like dark chocolate. But the Aloha, uh, the Aloha, the Hawaiian host, guys, it's so good. You guys have probably tried it, but it's. No, you know, love, you can find this in other stores. You can find this. If you're in the Philippines, guys, go to SNR. They have it. They have this flavor. They have dark chocolate. They have. Oh, this is dark chocolate. No, dark. They have milk. Is it good, no. Mama? Hmm. The nuts are so big. Show that. They say Show that, that Aloha food, like Aloha food, what did they say? Hawaiian food is really yummy, Mama. Mm. And it should be because it's so expensive. <laughs> mm. We bought, you buy one pack two. with two, $16.99. And 16. that's, so two boxes for 16 um, um, that's expensive, but it's more expensive in other stores. In but we haven't seen it in other stores. One of these was, I think, 400 pesos. What? Mm. The milk chocolate. It's not cheap. Hmm. But it's SNR. Sometimes it's really cheap in SNR because it's a huge, like, um, oh, it's an outlet. This one. They they put a, a sticker on it. It said Costco. Mm? Hmm. Isn't that a store? Mm? A grocery? Like SNR. So I think they get a special price from Costco. Uh, we bought it in Grocery Outlet. Does Grocery Outlet, like, does it exist in other states? Mm? Mm? So usually when there's nuts in, in chocolate, it's yeah. so tiny, right? But these are huge. Special macadamia, especially. Oh, talk about uh, Versace. Mm. Guys, I'm obsessed with Netflix like documentaries. And it's because of me that Mama and Mike are watching Making of a Murder. Making, making a murder. Making a murder, right? It's only him now. I got tired of him. Guys, Mama is always skeptical. When I tell her, told her, The Bird Box, it's such a good movie. She was like, don't want to. <laughs> and then, but it's Sandra Bullock. And then I turned it on and she was like, oh, I love this. <laughs> I, I would want to watch it again. Mm? Mm? And then, Making a Murderer, I told her about it. And I know that Michael loves those shows. He loves it. He's watching it right now. <laughs> While he's exercising. And then I was looking on Netflix and I found, um, what's it called? Mm. About the Fire Music Mas music Festival. And it's. I can't believe how, how stupid people are, Mama. Mm. <laughs> you know what they Even did? Even celebrities. The celebrities, the models, posted on Instagram about the fire festival. It's kind of like Coachella. And it's like the new big thing. And people like... The tickets, I think the cheapest one is 1,000. The most expensive one is half a million or a quarter of a million, something like that. Tickets, mama. Oh. A ticket. Where will you sit? In heaven? <laughs> it's in Bahamas and it's it was supposed to be in the Pablo Escobar Island uh, it, he used to like own it and then he didn't anymore but they got problems with his family and stuff like that so they couldn't do it there and then they had to switch an island but anyways like that cost a huge oh my god it's 
it's such a good film guys watch it documentary it's one movie about it it's really interesting because he's so like he's a genius the guy who created it he is a genius like he can sell you anything mama he's a good salesman but that's also his biggest flaw because it's because of that that he's going to jail and he has to pay millions so why didn't he just uh, apply for bankruptcy I don't think you can do that if you like fooled like so many people thousands I think of people mm. anyways then I saw that I'm halfway through that and then I saw this other uh, this tweet I mean um, from this girl I follow on Twitter she's a photographer we talk all the time and she did, uh, made a tweet that she couldn't fall asleep because Gianni Versace has a document and you know Versace. It's, it's not him who did it because he's dead. Yeah. So you said Versace made a documentary. Oh my god, I've heard about this story before, but I did not know it was that good. And the reason why I got like into it because of it was actor. because of yeah, the actor is what's his name? Chris, uh, Chris something from. Glee, he's the bad guy, you know, he became like the bad guy and he's so cute and all that. He plays the killer and the sad thing is the killer... He, no? Yeah, he plays the killer. Oh, how about the one in the Glee? He is from Glee. The, the gay guy in Glee. Yeah, he's the one. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, and he... But he wasn't the bad guy there. Not really bad guy, but he's like on that elite... In the elite school, remember? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and he he plays the killer, and he's uh, he's doing such like oh, he's so good, he's so good. Like you will be so like annoyed the with him. The killer is a, a Filipino American. Yeah, that that's why I got like interested because I wanted to know more about it. But it also makes me like really sad because I hate when like the Philippines get gets like a bad reputation like that. And mm -hmm. it caused so many like controversies because this Filipino. But Re that doesn't Re even remember make sense. that bug, that love bug, that love virus, that that Filipino hacker oh. made in the bank. No, or in email? offices, in mails. Oh yeah, that He's was a also genius. Oh, yeah, genius. They and are lives here in... now. <laughs> Is he not in jail? Mm. They like rehabilitated him something. <laughs> he lives here. Oh yeah, because he's now. too smart to go to jail. Oh, yeah, they yeah, need yeah, him, I, I think. <laughs> but like this guy who killed uh, Gianni, he was also like very very smart, which is why he was able to pull off so many more. Like he was able to kill four, and then he killed Gianni. I yeah. So he was already like on the wanted list and. So and I don't know if it's real, if it's like, because sometimes fictional, it's a fictional movie like based on a true, what do you call that? Based like, on a true story. It's based on a true story, but it's, it, it has a lot of like facts, but also they added some stuff in like. For stuff, drama. Yeah, for drama stuff. We don't really know like if it's, if it did, really did happen. But there was this one scene about like the killer was in a uh, burger shop and then like this guy recognized him on the wanted board before he killed Gianni. So if they were to have catched him, Gianni would have still been alive now. Mm. But the cops weren't like they didn't come in in, in it to they didn't come quick enough. So he was able to run away. But now he's in jail, right? No, he killed himself. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, I, but this story is really interesting. You guys should watch it. It's called. <laughs> but if I have to like take stuff out of you guys, the chocolate, it makes so much noise. So I have to like cut that. But um, it's a true. What's it called? True American crime, and then there's the colon, and then the death of or the assassination. Assass assass assassination. Assassination of Gianni Versace. Yeah, but you know where he left his money. His money? Like he, on his oh, will, you mean, what he uh, wrote in his will. No. He already made a will because he got sick like months before and years before I think. He almost died and then he got ear cancer like a month before. So he was always sick so he wrote a, a will 
so that his money would go to a good place, you know. So he, ha he has two siblings, a girl and a guy. And he gave, like, I think he gave it to, de to them. And then, I don't remember if he has kids. I, I get so confused on that part. I don't know if he has it's kids. Gay. I know, but I, I, wrote, I read something about some kids. But I know he's, like, in love with his, like, nephews and nieces. He loves them, like, a lot. Like, he was, like, really great uncle, apparently. And so he wanted them to have a lot of money. And so they wouldn't, they didn't have to like worry about financial stuff. So he, I think he gave like 50 50 to his siblings. And then what they did is because the siblings they couldn't really like agree like what to do with the designs and stuff because the girl, uh, she got like G, uh, she runs Versace. <laughs> she, I feel like I can't say Versace just like that. I have to be like Versace. <clears throat> and he she runs it and now when she got a kid like her girl she got a girl she got a daughter <laughs> what's wrong with my english she got a daughter and she gave 50 percent <clears throat> to her daughter she gets like 30 and her brother gets like 20 her daughter gets 50 percent of why? the versace why because they couldn't agree like on what to do with the money on the f other 50 percent so they gave it to the daughter because Gianni loved her so much um. and she's worth 800 million oh the daughter oh and she hasn't even done anything like back then she she was like she didn't do anything yet and I loved it when he said in the movie I don't know if it's like that I think it was like that too I read something about that that he did not want his models to starve and this was back in the 90s where models looked like this <laughs> <laughs> Right? <clears throat> and so he said, What did he do? Did he give them food? <laughs> no, but he said to his sister, because his sister is more like strict and more like, You have to like look like this and you have to. The sister. And so he always said that, I want my mothers to look happy, like they've lived a good life, like they're having a good time, that they look like they've eaten food. <laughs> they don't would, look like they've they given them food. food? No, I think he just didn't want them to die yet. He he wanted them to look happy. Because he said, uh, I don't remember the exact thing he said, but he said something about when he, like, designs clothes, he always, like, looks at the mother's face. And when he puts the clothes on their body, he wants to see a smile. If he doesn't see a smile, if he doesn't see a glimmer in their eyes, then that means the, the design isn't good enough. So this was, he was very into like, he wanted to make people happy. Like that's why I, that's why he was so loved, Mama. Mm. Like he just wanted everyone to be excited with his designs. And and I didn't know anything about him before. And now I've, I've learned so much and I just, I love him. It's amazing, Mama. Mm. Like crazy. And it makes me so mad that he's gone. He would be like 60 something now. Oh. Mm. Like imagine like if there, his clothes would be like way better now. I, because I don't know. I don't know if his sister is like doing a good job. or <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if he would like the clothes because his sister is really like, uh, what do you call it? Rich. It's yummy. Mm, so you can't like eat like five. <laughs> <laughs> it's too rich, but it's so so good. You guys should check you it should out. Buy. Or mm. Hawaiian host. Get the milk one. Um, unless I like you're this. unless you like direct chocolate. If you love macadamia, it doesn't matter. If you can't find it, if you don't have a grocery outlet, and I haven't seen it in in Safeway oh. or Fred Meyer, no. If you can find it anywhere, you, I think you can find it on Amazon. Maybe. It's really popular. Anyways, guys, tell me down below if you've seen... Uh, oh, in Costco you can buy it. Oh, give you guys, if you guys watch Netflix, because like the whole family is obsessed with Netflix. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We're all like watching The family Netflix. in the Philippines and all yeah. the family here. Like Netflix is, is our life. <laughs> so guys, and we're using my sister's Netflix, right? Yeah. So guys, go down below and tell me your favorite Netflix show. And also if you have any true crime 
Netflix documentaries for Michael. He loves those. And then Mama loves sci-fi. <laughs> so leave no, your No, I love psychological thrillers. Psychological thrillers. Leave those down below. For me, I love... Um, Based on a true story. Oh, did you do a, a, a shout out? Shout out of the day goes to Emilia, Emilia Gonzalez. Gonzalez. And, and she's a sh 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 new sabi. Are we twins? Why are we <laughs> she's a new sabi, guys. So thank you, Emilia, for subscribing. If you guys want shout out, tell me down below and I'll give you a shout out. And by the way, when you guys say, can I have a shout out in the next video? Usually it won't happen in the next video but it will happen like soon because a lot of times they'll say can i watch us in the next video and not the video after the next video yeah maya don't know because she she makes many videos at one time and then yeah i i did that before i can't it's do hard that. to do it like with a date we're going to go guys and yeah go down below subscribe and subscribe to mama scorpio and yt Oh, my hair looks like this, by the way. Thanks for watching, guys. I look like my desires. And we'll, I will see you in the next video. Adios, amigos. Mm.